Hi, I'm Emma Abrahams. I'm a painter and a sculptor. I make rings as well as paint pictures. And welcome to my show. It's called Delusions of Grandeur at Sophie Gannon Gallery. Let's start. So here we have John Galliano. All my works are skull portraits and portraits of fashion icons and people that have inspired my personal style. Here we have an ode to Alexander McQueen. And this is a coat from his last collection that he was designing before he died. Here we have a portrait of Gianni Versace. This took nearly a month to paint. They're all oil on linen. Over here we have a painting that was influenced by Galliano's internship at Oscar de la Renta. The painting's called Oscar Does the Best Green. And here we have Isabella Blow, or a portrait of the great woman herself. And I love the way that she's facing her very dear friend, muse to each other, McQueen and Isabella Blow. This is, a, <clears throat> this is inspired by Coco Chanel and all her favorite things. We have the Maltese cross and we have some camellias and beautiful pearls. This I is, love that one. I love this one too. Uh, the red is representative of the nail polish she always wore, which is now called Fire in the Chanel nail polish collection. Here we have the room of icons. This is amazing, everyone. Everyone, this is insanely great. Like I said to Emma, we have to do a video because I knew Emma to only do jewelry. I had no idea that she did these paintings. It's got tricks. And I said, oh my God, I have to do a video immediately. So I'll walk you through them really quickly. Yeah, yeah, maybe, I'd love that. I mean, people, maybe people will want to guess who's who, but I'll, I'll just well, tell you who's who. Yeah, go on. Okay, so we have Iris Apfel, Grace Coddington, the great Peter Marino. Now, Peter, he designs all the luxury stores for Chanel and Fendi, amongst others. He is an amazing interior architect, and I think one of the unsung heroes of fashion. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Boss lady. Oh, we know who that is, everyone, don't we? That's so good. I hope she sees this. Has she seen it, do you I think? Know, you know what? I met someone from US Vogue and he said, please don't show Anna, she will hate that. <laughs> You're seeing yourself as a oh, skull, I guess. She absolutely hate it. This is an ode to Comme des Garçons. Uh, there he is. Guess who it is. Can you guess? Are you saying that line? I was like a 70s version of him. It's so cool. <laughs> I'm terrible with all the names. Oh, so this is Coco Chanel. There's one coming that I'll be able to guess for sure though. Ooh. Hey, that's great. I love that one. Yeah, I thought it was sort of important to do a side profile for her because I think that was the, the work that the iconic portrait that I worked off of her was this was that profile. So I wanted to keep it as close to the original photograph as possible. Yeah. The great Diana Vreeland with her insane wallpaper That's in her great. apartment in New Look York. At that. She was always smoking <laughs> and this she's just so flamboyant and over the top. I thought this painting really had to be completely in your face. So, so have they all got their real teeth? Like I'm noticing yeah, there's some they, different they, teeth shapes. Yes, they are, they are. Mostly they've got their real teeth. This is uh Karl Lagerfeld. Great man. That's awesome. Yeah, that was one that's one of my favourite works. There's and a ring, you've done a ring of him I too. We'll show you that at the end. Uh, David Bowie, of course. I painted this way before Bowie died. I was gonna ask you yeah, that. I painted it about nearly a year ago. Wow. Yeah, he's been so influential in, in And see there, look at those life. teeth on that one every So day. I studied his dental moulds. How wild that. is well, that? His, before his teeth were capped and fixed. Uh, I found a website that had his dental mold, so I, I printed out the pictures and I, I basically just worked off. How them. bizarre! <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a Della Rosso. So, uh, yeah, she's pretty flexible. This is my favourite one, everyone, as if you wouldn't guess. The last season's print, which has sort of become so iconic for, for their yeah. new reinvention. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've got that bag, everybody. I've got I think that you bag. Need I, I, what? I love that. It's so cool. Frida Kahlo, Jane Fonda. That's great too. Yeah, so she's Camellia Wilde. Yeah, she's would love that. Oh, sure. Here we have Isabella Blow. Yeah, I think she might be the most famous of them all. She's still available, Frida. Uh, Donatella Versace. That's great. And as I was saying before, that leopard, I mean, there's four layers of leopard under there, which is some, sometimes you struggle to sort of get the right combinations. Yeah. And I started with like a, you know, like a natural sort of leopard, and then it was just too full on. And then I had friends come into the studio and say, you still don't have that <laughs> So yeah, we, we landed on pink and I think, you know, she's so gauche yeah. uh, that it just sort of, it works perfectly. That's great. Mm. This was just sort of inspired more by the Chanel runway than it, than it was anything else. It's not so much a, an icon in itself, but I just wanted to focus on the set that Chanel produced. Have you been to a Chanel runway? I never have. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, do. I agree. That would be incredible. The great Kate Moss. That's awesome. There wouldn't be a show on fashion icons without Kate. This neck, oh no, not the, the one on the Yeah, that's cool. Who, as you know, also has one of my rings. 
So the yes. video I designed for him has like rows of Australian sapphires and the Breton stripes. And the, the ring that he has has a, a sailor's hat filled with diamonds, but I sort of wanted to move away from that and, and incorporate some of his uh, like tattoo imagery and, and things into Have you got place. photos of him wearing it? I do. How it's awesome. All the time. Wow. People say, I saw Gaultier and Doreen. Wow, how awesome. That's so cool. That's so cool. This is one of my favourites too. I think that's very Courtney good. Love. Yeah, this was actually an accident, Courtney. I was always going to put Kurt in because I think you know, with that whole grunge movement and how he's inspired so much fashion for my generation. So uh, he's been a muse to so many people, not just his music, but his style. It's let yeah. people sort of be who they are in this sort of authentic way without having to try too hard. I think that whole grunge movement has been, you know, what for my generation massively important. I had a buyer who was interested in, uh, in Kurt and she said, I'll, I'll buy it if you paint Courtney and I said oh, maybe I should paint Courtney you know she's That's got that so like good. 90s lipstick yeah, colour yeah. on and all this sort of disgusting skin and I mean I, you know, who doesn't love Courtney yeah. but the original buyer didn't actually end up buying the pair they sold the day that I put up the show to someone who fell in love with them straight away so at really? least they have got the oh, together yeah <laughs> that is good uh, the wonderful Jeremy Scott. I'm yet to see his movie, but I'm dying to see it. Yeah, that's good. It? No, I have we not. Should go and see that. Yeah, we should. It's, good. it's at Acme, we should go. Um, this is a, well, it's inspired by Mar Margiela. And then we have Daphne Guinness, who is just, oh, she's one of my that's muses. Great. As, you know, so many other people, but she's such an advocate for couture and fashion and creativity that, I mean, she, there, there was no doubt she would be in this show. Uh, Monsieur Liar, Azadine Liar. I named my daughter Azadine. I'm, I'm a huge fan of his work and I find his pieces you know, eternal and timeless. This was a, a print from, from the um, early 90s that I have a lot of this collection. I have gloves, I have dresses, I have huh. hands. I have That's cool. <laughs> so I actually just ripped out one of my fabrics and then, and then worked straight off that. That whole check is done freehand. So wow. That took about 11 Three hours. Months. I paint. bet it did. Um, and it wasn't drawn. I it bet you were so over that. it by the end I too. I was and my daughter as a dean was trying to get the brush and I was <laughs> doing it at the kitchen table and uh, it was not fun. So it's incredible it's when you see the works and they all come together and you remember yeah. not, you know, how, how you got them painted. It's quite extraordinary to see them all in every place. Yeah. This is Mark, Mark Jacobs. I had the absolute pleasure of meeting, meeting him when I was in LA. I was staying at Chateau Marmont. And, we were at breakfast and Mark Jacobs was on the next table and we, we Oh my God, how appropriate. I know, it was. We yeah. fell into a conversation about, you know, life, art. Actually, it was this jacket. He said, oh my God, I love the jacket. I love the jacket I too. Photos of it. And I've just seen on his new collection, he has jackets covered in badges. Are you serious? I think maybe it's inspired by my jacket. Uh -huh. really, no, you never know. Yeah, yeah. inspired by anything. Um, so Mark was kind enough to show me his tattoos, which I'd been Googling online and I couldn't get the right resolution. And I said to him, I'm painting a portrait moment for my show. Would you mind if I took some photos of your tattoos and you showed me your, your collection on your body? So he said, yeah, sure. And, pulling up his top and so you know, I was able to get a, a really good idea of what those tattoos were and of course his how his hilarious image. that he did that for you no he's so great has he's he seen fantastic. this he has seen it and he's also got a few of my rings he wears the Bowie ring and the Carmen ring oh wow top, which I'll show you later so yeah it's great okay so here's Debbie Harry um, she's a fashion icon as much as you know a musician as a, as a musician and um I just love her. She always had to be here. This is <coughs> this is the sort of derivative of a very early punk photo shoot she did for Blondie. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, she she's here. In, in Look at this, everybody. Place. This is my favourite thing. Oh, I know Megan's obsessed. Yeah. With I'm obsessed summer. with like, this. Can you see that? Yeah, well, the reason I made it is because I wear these. But with their prescription nails, it's like this new version of acrylic nails. And because I'm an artist and a jeweler, I'm constantly breaking my nails. I know, same. So instead of running to the manicurist every five minutes because I can't do them myself, they're really complicated, I make nail armor. So, so see that? See on her thumb. Hold your hands up so they can see them. See, look at that. And look at the thumb. I love that thumb one. Yeah, they're pretty just, cool to wear. And they sit it's so beautifully. Like, they don't feel awkward styles. or anything. No, and then, you know, I've got all different sized ones and I've got about five variations and Sometimes I wear them on all the fingers. On the, all the fingers, it'll look great. They're badass. Yeah, you wouldn't want anyone to <laughs> come near you. So no, let's have a quick look at the rings because there's okay. a box of rings here, everyone, that I love. <laughs> look at these, everyone. <laughs> so here's the rings. Emma's in demand. It's live and happening here, everyone. <laughs> so look, here's the rings. Oh, here's so the there's sample. some of the rings. Yeah, that's Carl. 
That's my Karl Lagerfeld. I do a diamond version too. It's like white diamond hair and black diamond glasses. Christine's got that in the city. Christine accessories. In Melbourne, yeah, yeah. that's great. So there's some of my beautiful things Aren't they though, great? Mate. Well, this is the bat skull. I'll show you this one. This is really cool. It's really fun to wear. So some of these rings are inspired by like you know rock icons. We've got Bob Dylan. He wears that. He was given that for his birthday by really? yeah, a friend who is friendly with him. Isn't that wonderful? That was a collaboration I did with these cool crew in Melbourne called Nylamy. They've got a website and I did a Courtney Love sort of collaboration yeah, that's with great. them. There's prints. There's Lemmy from oh, did Motorhead. Prince see this? No, he seen hasn't it? seen it. Um, there's Marie Antoinette, which I call Teen Queen. This is my bat skull. I made this bat skull one day when I was meant to be doing my tax. That's, like, that's what an artist I am. I was like, what can I do today? My tax. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I'll I think I'll do this. something. <laughs> So anyway, this has become like That's one of my wild. favorite pieces, and I have a lot of singers who buy it, yeah. and performers, like the, you know people from you know everything from punk bands to cabaret singers. Because yeah, it's such a really, it's a really strong piece. I've got a few DJs who wear it too. It's, it's really great. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, well balanced wig to wear. Well, thank you so much. This is amazing, it's everyone. A pleasure, Isn't Thanks it? Thanks for coming, and I'd love like, to share all the work and the yeah, it's like to, to have, I've known Emma for years. Like Emma used to have a store, and then and she always had the, like the most amazing clothes in this store. Yeah. Right. And I've always loved everything that she wears. In fact, look what bag she has. I wonder why I chose my <laughs> star bag, <laughs> which I've got on here. Look. But um, I yeah, I, I so and I good. love the denim jacket, and and I I love how you dress, and I love your whole style. Thanks, Megan. So thank, thank you for showing us around.